everyone and welcome back this is another question that i'm gonna solve uh, regarding the mark of change it's a uh, mark of chains is a it's a basic question and the question is the as the following suppose that you are playing a game uh, you toss a fair coin and you win the game if three consecutive heads appear what is the probability that you win the game in at most eight tosses and what is the probability that you win the game exactly at the eighth toss in this example we will see the difference between these two questions so first what are our states as we can see in the matrix uh, below our states should be 0 1 2 and 3 what are these these indicate the number of heads uh, consecutive so since we have a fair coin the probability to get ahead is 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 and the probability to get a tail is the same thing. So this is the probability to get a tail and it's at the same time the probability to get a head. So let's analyze the matrix. If we are at zero now, we just started the game. Uh, we go to zero, which means we toss the coin and it comes as tails with 0 0.5 probability. And we go to one with 0 0.5 if it is heads. Now, if we are at one, if we, a, if we toss a head, we go to 2. If we toss a tail, we go to 0. If we are at 2, if we toss a head, we go to 3. If we toss a tail, we go back to 0. Because the, the whole, um, let's say, head head gets, break, gets broken by the tail. So we go back to the 0. Finally, if we are at 3, if we reach 3, the game is over we won so from three it's only going to three basically so what is the probability that you win the game in at most eight tosses basically to find this is um we are going to by by the way this matrix is p1 so to find this part a the probability that you win the game in at most eight tosses it's basically p8 from 0 to 3 and uh, so first we need to find p8 0 3 and as we mentioned in the previous video uh, we should find first p2 which is p1 times p1 and then p sorry p4 which is p2 times p2 by the way these are matrices so matrix multiplication and then p8 is equal to p4 times p4 so after we find this we just find uh, p8 0 3 so let's uh, calculate the matrix and we find the probability after finding p8 by the way this is p8 after finding p8 as follows we can directly uh, find p0 to 3 8 is basically this right here so it's 107 over 256 which is equal to 0.42 that's the probability to win the game in at most eight tosses. So what is the difference now uh, between this and the second part? In the second part, um, it means that at the seventh transition, at P7, we are at um, state number two. And then we go from two to three. So let's do it as follows so this equals to the probability of 0 to 2 in uh, after 7 transitions times 0 0.5 so after 7 transitions if i am at state 2 by starting from 0 then i will have 0 0.5 probability to win at uh, state 8 so this is basically the probability. So to find this again, 
we need to find p7 and to find p7 we can uh, for example find it by p3 times p4 or p6 times p any of these so let's find p7 and come back p7 was found as follows in this matrix and the p02 is basically this guy right here and to find the final answer we multiply 0 0.1 times 0 0.5 which is equal to 0 0.05 and this is our probability to win the game in exactly eight tosses and now let's see the difference here to win in at most eight tosses is 0 0.42 but to win in exactly 8 tosses is 0 0.05 and the, the reason behind this is that we are restricting the game to finish in 8 um, tosses but in the previous one it can finish in um, 3 tosses, in 4 tosses, in 5 tosses, in 6 tosses, in 7 and in 8 so all these probabilities are adding up to reach 0.42 this was the solution for this question right here. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, don't hesitate to mention it in the comment section below. Good luck.